yellow line. Stand behind the yellow line. There's no yellow line. It's blue. Yeah, so right now we are waiting for a train to go to Rome. We're happy to finally be off the cruise. And I'm actually really excited for Rome because we have a hotel that's left the cruise. Yep. The train ride here was kind of awful because it was through a bunch of tunnels and our ears just constantly kept popping. This is pretty awful. But we are here and our hotel. Let me just give you guys a quick room tour. Okay, so this is where you enter. You know, there's coffee and stuff and whatnot. Here's the closet. Amazing, great. My amazing, fantastic, great outfit. There's the mini bar with like nothing in it. All right, and this is an overview of right when you walk in. So there's our bed with a bunch of crap on it. And there's our bathroom. And when you walk this way, when you walk this way, you see a porch. Great porch. We weren't expecting one. Except the view's not really that great. <laughs> it's not, not that great. At least we can hang our laundry here because apparently it's $6 a shirt to wash. Which is pretty damn expensive and we can't afford that. Okay, so the bathroom is really pretty. I really like it. This is the shower right here. Not too fancy. It's like normal, I guess. <laughs> it's pretty normal. It's yeah. a pretty normal Although shower. The shower head is really cool because it's like a oh, rainfall shower. Oh, I didn't even notice that. This is the nice counter, nice and pretty amazing. Yeah, I like how the sink looks. Like, look how far, far up it is. Oh, wow. This is us. Hi, Hello. what's up? This is the window. We closed it because we don't want to get bitten by mosquitoes. Yeah, a thingamabob. <laughs> <laughs> um, soap and soap, amazing, great tour. The thing is there, the safe, and here's the toilet. That's another window that we closed because mosquitoes. Everything in Europe, I feel like, has these like big giant buttons to flush the toilet. Here's our toilet, and I guess that's everything. Yeah, and it looks nothing. like you can actually close the bathroom with a gigantic yeah, sliding door. Yeah, you can squish door. me. It's a giant sliding door. Yeah, that's about everything. I think we're going to take it easy today because we just arrived here and we're kind of tired of traveling and it's nice to not be on a, be on a moving vehicle of any sort. Yeah. I think the only thing we're going to do is food. Yes. Hello and good morning. It's really early. It's not actually not that early. We don't really wake up as early as we did before. I mean, we did. But it kind of took forever, so now it's almost nine. I'm sorry. All right, well, we gotta go. We're gonna walk towards the Colosseum, see what there is around there, and then we're going to the Roman Forum, which apparently is more interesting than Colosseum. Probably not gonna go inside the Colosseum because, well, people said it's not that interesting and it's probably really congested, so we're gonna go to the Roman Forum instead. Come along with us, and if there's anything interesting along the way, which usually there is, we'll show you because it's like a 20 minute walk. What is that? I remember the taxi or Uber taking us by here. I don't know what that thing is, but it's huge. Yeah. Some sort of tower? Yeah. Colonna Triana? I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. there you see all the way back there we're probably gonna take some pictures outside of it um well Daniel's gonna take pictures outside of it I'll get some video shots but we're probably not gonna go in again because we're just not gonna do it we want to go to the Roman form that seems like the cool place that's not gonna be overcrowded <laughs> so let's go we have arrived this is what it looks like great that yellow thing is pretty ugly I think they're constructing something there, like some type of subway. Probably maintenance, I'm assuming. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it looks nice from the outside. And it's definitely really crowded already. So keep trying to find a way. 
for like empty space for pictures. Yeah. Everyone's trying to tell us the Coliseum guided tour tickets. No. We've already been so guided tour stuff. <laughs> Plus, we don't really want to go in anyways. We're trying to get to the room for after, which is why ourselves, not with the guided tour and a group of people. Because it looks pretty empty, so I think that'll be a lot nicer than that. But for now, it looks like we found a wall without yellow stuff. Look at all those people. Look at all those people that we're never gonna get close to. I don't know if you can see those people there, but that's the reason why we don't go in the Coliseum. It's pretty awful, like up there, that's so crowded. Yeah, no, there's no way you can enjoy your time like looking at everything if you're being pushed around and whatnot. All right, so now to the Roman Forum. We've been walking for like two hours. Yeah. And it's already almost 11. Yeah. My stomach's like killing itself right now. My stomach just stopped being hungry, just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> Mine feels nauseous. It's gone to that point. Alright, so let's go find food. Oh, human statue, man. I don't know how they stand out here in the sun like this for that long. Crazy. Okay, so here's a little update. Since we did say we were going to the Roman Forum, but it was impossible to find tickets anywhere or the ticket office. There were signs everywhere. We went everywhere. We walked everywhere. We ended up seeing like most of it actually from the outside. It was just like tiny little buildings. We saw people walking in. We didn't actually walk in because we couldn't find the ticket sales office, which was fine, I guess, because <laughs> we did see most of it. It was very hard to take photos though, obviously because we're not in it and there's too many people. So instead, we decided to come back here and have some brunch, I guess. I mean, it's still 10.30. Oh, so it's still like early. Well, I think right now we're just gonna chill here, cool off. We're I'm so dehydrated right now. Um, I got spaghetti, Danny got breakfast, and maybe we'll explore, explore a bit, and then go to museum? Or did you want to go to Vatican? Museum and the Vatican after, yeah. Okay, museum and then the Vatican. Okay, so this is what Daniel got, that used to be fresh orange juice that was warm, <laughs> coffee, and some bacon toast salad, I guess, and other stuff, Sausages cheese, and eggs. these are like eggs that are like a tortilla scrambled basically. And then I got some red pasta with, or spaghetti with um, clams, so I really wanted seafood. So I'm excited to try that, and we actually just tried his eggs, they taste really good. Okay, so now we're re-energized. We yep. feel more alive finally and not dying and finally not had nauseous. food, coffee, yep. orange juice. Oh, yours is really good. The drinks are really good. Coffee tasted really good. Meanwhile, Eva had spaghetti with clams. Okay, I really wanted to try it, okay? I really wanted seafood because on the cruise there was like no freaking seafood. There was fish. Yeah, but that's all. <laughs> and then it wasn't even like cooked. Yo, yeah. show them this fountain. It's like Aquaman. Yeah, I'm talking about food up in here. Okay, fine. This is the fountain. That's Aquaman. Yeah. You know, He's making a koi fish permanently vomit forever. You know, people that actually look up history for Rome are gonna hate you for this. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, how dare you insult this? I'm not insulting it. I mean, I said it looks cool. Okay. I just don't know what it is. I, I don't really know what it is either. Like, I wish we had more background information. <laughs> you wish we weren't dumb? <laughs> yeah, I wish we weren't <laughs> dumb. But it is cool. It's very pretty. Like, this whole square is gorgeous. I think tomorrow or something, we're gonna bring the wide angle lens and take some photos here for Instagram, vlog, whatnot. But here's a little preview. <laughs> Alright, in we go. I will call you, we have to go and take it off. It says it's in here somewhere. Whoa. That looks really cool. Oh, that must be the entrance. Oh, yeah, must be it. Wow. I'm so bad at flipping these. Okay, so we got the tickets, so now we're going in with permission. That's a cool carriage. Oh, so it goes in a giant circle anyway. Okay. Okay, so this way first. 
This is actually pretty refreshing from walking through town so many times. Whoa. That's really cool. It's such a big painting. Yeah. How do people even paint this and remember what they're painting? Like, how do you go through and paint every- like, look at the detail everywhere. Yeah. You can see each face so clearly. It's crazy. Look how big it is in size. These are really cool, actually. Even the frames are nice. Mm -hmm. This is cool because we get to see what it actually looked like before. This is the view from the second floor. It's really nice. This museum is really nice. It's not overly crowded, too. Everything's so pretty and detailed. Oh, this is what it looked like in 1826. <laughs> Pretty nice away from people. <laughs> yeah, but as usual, we are looking for ties again for Daniel's collection, and we are going to a very specific tie shop, which we hope will have more girl mustache Italy specific ties, like more cultured ties, I guess. Yeah, because the tie shops we've seen so far are like really cheap, like five to ten dollar, like ties you can get anywhere, basically. Yeah, basically, like the basic, basic ones. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the store, and we did take a little break at our. Um, hotel because we are tired and it's better to walk around when the sun's not blazing hot. <laughs> so hopefully we can find a tie this time. Okay, hi. So we're back in our hotel now. We went on such a freaking adventure through very crowded places and it was just awful because a lot of tie shops were closed for whatever reason. Anyways, so we ended up getting this one. Well, Daniel did. It's red with little gold things in it. It's supposed to be 100% silk. Which is cool, and we got it from the tie shop in Roma, I guess. Um, there isn't really much interesting about it. I don't really know what that says, even. Our product's quality is realized by details, blah blah blah. Basically, a lot of attention put into it, but... I think it looks really nice. Out of all the other ones there, this one's very unique and very bold. Oh, dry clean only. But, yeah, so, this is it. So, Italy is done, I guess. We have our Italy one. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm because we're not going back to Venice because there's not much there and we walked all of Venice so here's the Italy tie and we have the Croatia one that you guys saw before so next time we go on vacation we gotta find another one if you guys ever come here make sure that you do wear running shoes because I wore sandals and it's pretty awful because <laughs> the roads are rocky it's not nice smooth you know sidewalks and everything so definitely wear running shoes if you can like if anything just like bring running shoes to change into at the point that my feet started hurting, there wasn't really anywhere to change my shoes, so I was kind of screwed there. But if anything, just bring an extra pair of shoes in. Okay, so we stopped by a restaurant, and we this we stopped by a restaurant, and it is called Roma Roma, which actually seems to be the first promising restaurant. And we got bruschetta and salads, and then we're gonna get pizza. It does to go. have a cap, I think. Oh, so it's sanitary. Well, I think it's one of these. I don't know, but the bruschetta looks so good. We got salads, but we ate them all, so you don't get a video of that. It was so good. I think this place is... I think we might come back, for sure. If anyone ever comes by and finds this balsamic vinegar, I would totally recommend it. It's not too acidic and it's sweet.